Americana Outdoors presented by Garmin is also brought to you in part by Bubba Blade, the ultimate fishing and hunting knife, by Stealth Cam Digital Scouting Cameras, and by Smith & Wesson, made in the USA since 1852. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Now for this segment, we're gonna toss it over to our friends at Smith & Wesson and take a close look at some of the favorites in Smith & Wesson's performance line of handguns. Hi, I'm Matt Rice with Blue Heron Communications. We do public relations work for Smith & Wesson and Thompson Center. Today, I'm here to talk to you about handgun hunting. It's a great sport and it's something all we encourage you to get out in the field this year and try. As you can see on this table in front of me, it's really kind of a wheel gun bonanza. We've got all sorts of makes and models that are gonna be for the most experienced hunter all the way down to the first timer. You know, handgun hunting is a pretty unique sport in its own right. Whether you're an archery hunter, a muzzleloader hunter, or traditional rifle hunter, each of those different aspects has their own unique challenges that you face in the field. And with handgun hunting, these are almost sometimes times 10. So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about some of these handguns that we have before us, some of the pros and cons, and mainly just give you a kind of a broad overview of what handgun hunting is all about. You know, the great thing about both Smith & Wesson and Thompson Center is there's a variety of handguns for a variety of applications. So whether you're that first time hunter, maybe you're an experienced hunter, and depending on what type of game you're after, we certainly have something that's gonna meet your qualifications. You know, starting off with maybe a 22 or a 17 HMR, you've got a very good all around small game handgun whether we're looking at rabbits, whether we're looking at prairie dogs, something in those ranges is gonna have you a cartridge that's suitable for the task at hand. Now kind of moving up the ladder, what we've got here on the table, we've got a couple multi-use guns. One in particular is the Smith & Wesson Governor. This gun is gonna give you three different handgun calibers with both 45 Colt, 410, and 45 ACP. So whether you're in backpacking country, something you want lightweight to be able to carry with you, the Governor certainly has its advantage. The same thing with this 44 Magnum over here on the front of the table. This is a nice lightweight gun, scandium frame with a titanium cylinder. So you're looking at a 44 Mag that's only gonna weigh relatively around 30, 27 ounces. So whether you're backpacking all day, carrying that rifle in bear country, but you still want something a little bit more for closer in, if you have to use it, that's a great way to go. When we talk hunting, everybody likes to talk big game, and that's really what gets your heart beating as a hunter. And when you're after a big game, you really do need a big cartridge. Now, a 357 Magnum, that'll do the job on most smaller game, but when we start getting up into the larger animals, 44 Magnum and up is really the way to go. Again, with Smith & Wesson, we've got a variety of calibers that match really what you're after and what configuration you're looking for to take into the field. One of my personal favorites is a Model 629. A lot of people are familiar with the 29 designation, the old Dirty Harry gun, 44 mag. Well, this is basically taking that design a little bit step forward, making it a little bit more hunter friendly. So with a 44 Magnum and large game, you can also shoot the 44 specials when you're out on the range and want to practice those basics. But when it comes time to put the boots on the ground, the 44 Magnum is the way to go. These two firearms that we have on the table, 244 mags, are actually out of the Performance Center. So you have a couple of custom features that are gonna make your hunting experience even more enjoyable. The first thing you're probably gonna notice in a Performance Center gun is that tuned action. So when I'm using a double action trigger pull, meaning all I'm doing is I'm pressing the trigger, or if I'm going ahead and cocking the hammer before I make that trigger pull, you have a nice, smooth, consistent trigger pull that's really gonna help you out with those accuracy. You're also gonna notice in the Performance Center guns, we have a variety of ports. This gun has an integral compensator on the front, while on this other 44 mag, we have more of a 360 degree compensator. Now what that's gonna allow you to do is gonna, it's gonna keep that muzzle recoil down, allow you to keep your sights on target, and if you have to make that second shot, you're gonna be able to do so. So I 44 Magnum is gonna be a really good all around cartridge for whatever you're hunting. If you really wanna step up that game, maybe go reach out a little bit further in your distance, or maybe you're planning that next trip over to Africa, the X-Frames is really what's probably gonna catch your attention. This model I'm holding here is the 460 XVR. We we'll also make this in a 500. Now when the 500 first came out, it was recorded as the most powerful handgun. Well, when the 460 came out, it's still the most highest velocity handgun. So what you have here in the 460 is a caliber that's gonna allow you to shoot a longer distance, but it's gonna keep that trajectory of the bullet nice and straight. So for instance, say I'm sighting in at 100 yards, there's not gonna be much of a bullet drop between 200 or 300. So for a hunter, that's a very great feature. So now I don't have to worry so much on my sight in on my animal, it's gonna come down to those fundamentals, my breathing, my grip, my stance, support, 
and last but not least, that trigger pull. With the X-Frames, obviously you're getting a little bit bigger. The Designation X, as a lot of Smith & Wesson people know, is the top of the line. So while we have our smaller K-Frames, we have a little bit larger N-Frames, then we go up to the X. So with that, you're gonna have a little bit more weight. So it's gonna take a little bit finer shooting techniques to be able to control this gun accurately and make it perform the way it can. Thanks, Matt. If you'd like to learn more about any of the models discussed in this show, we encourage you to get online and check out smith-wesson.com. Keep up with the latest in the outdoors at Americana Outdoors, your source for the best in news, tips, and industry innovations. Oh, hey, and if you're on Facebook, give us a like. We're always giving away free gear. Thanks for watching Americana Outdoors. We'll see you next week.